Okay. Okay. Good morning. Today we will discuss. Morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Today we will discuss the auxiliary memory. The main memory is used for the regular purpose. Okay. So besides that, the auxiliary memory is also required. Why? Why auxiliary memory is required? As because auxiliary memory will store the additional information which may keep, which may keep when the user switch off the machine. And how long the switch on the machine? The information will be inside the inside the main memory. But after switch off. The information will be stored in the auxiliary memory. There are several types of auxiliary memory are there. They are, as you know, the disk, that is the hard disk, is one kind of auxiliary memory. This is the layout of the hard disk. There are several plates are there, and both sides of the plate, the information are stored in case of a secondary memory or the auxiliary memory. This is the disk storage. This is the Characteristics of the disk storage, the size of the disk storage is very huge. You may use the CD-ROM or DVD-ROM for this purpose. Okay, the disk storage technology, the magnetic principle is used for here, and the semiconductor devices are used for the disk technology. And the disk capacity, it is a huge capacity. Okay, and some amount of GB, not only GB, the TB, that is the terabyte. You may store in a disk. Then the computing the disk capacity, how the disk capacity can be calculated. Uh, you may be able to find it using this. The capacity is byte per sector into average, sector per track into tracks per surface into surface per plate into plates per disk. That means how many plates is there? Depending upon that, the size of the disk will be that. That means if there are five number of plates, then two surfaces are there, and 20,000 tracks per surface, and 300 sectors per track, and 512 bytes per sector, then the size of the memory will be 30.72 GB. Okay.